Ever since the beginning of civilization, the importance of water resources has been regarded as crucial in sustaining human life. Efficient means to store and utilize water resources have always been of utmost importance, leading to dams and water reservoirs. To this day, dams are used to store water for irrigation, power generation, and most importantly, flood control. Statistics reveal that hundreds of dam failures have occurred throughout the world over the past couple of decades. These catastrophes lead to severe consequences, like property and environmental damages, while taking away thousands of innocent lives. Just as these water reservoirs age and the population increases, the potential for fatal dam failures grows exponentially. In a survey conducted in the US, the statistics revealed that during the period of January 2005 to June 2013, approximately 173 dam failures and 587 near-catastrophic incidents took place. These incidents, without mediation, would have likely resulted in calamitous results. From the United States to China, here are five dams that could fail any second. Lake Isabella Dam is located in the Kern River Valley, which lies between Kernville and Lake Isabella. Being an embankment dam, the construction period of the Isabella Dam lasted from 1944 to 1953. The dam was constructed to serve numerous purposes, which included hydroelectric power generation, agriculture and flood control. Moreover, the reservoir created by the Lake Isabella Dam also serves as a recreational spot for tourists. The dam consists of two sub-dams, including a main and an auxiliary one. The primary dam is owned and maintained by the US Army Corps of Engineers and is an earthen build. It's 1,695 feet in length and 98 feet in height, with a capacity to hold up to 570,000 acre-feet of water. In early 2008, a survey was conducted which resulted in the preparations of a map that portrays the areas surrounding the metropolitan Bakersfield. The map showed the areas that are likely to be flooded in case the dam experiences a failure. This led the authorities to formulate a failure evacuation plan that provides a basic framework to respond to unforeseen circumstances. In case of hurricane-related evacuations, it was realized that the residents must be aware of the areas that are at high risk and must be persuaded to leave. The evacuation plan also includes an efficient transportation route and resources to move evacuees to safe zones. Should the Lake Isabella Dam experience a failure, the resulting flood would force approximately a quarter of a million people to evacuate. Not only that, but accommodating the evacuees would be a complex and resource-intensive operation. This would require efficiency among local jurisdictions, non-profit agencies and state and federal resources. Addix and Barker dams were constructed during 1942 and 1948 in the quest to protect the city of Houston from flooding. However, due to some alarming flaws in the design and construction, the two dams were remodeled and reconstructed during the 1980s to efficiently meet the updated safety standards for the federal dams. By the time they were redesigned and reconstructed, the two dams and their reservoirs were far from Houston's developed areas. However, recently, rapid development has occurred in the surrounding areas and the reservoir's flood pools. The severity of the situation and the vulnerability of Addix and Barker dams were exposed during the year 2017, when Hurricane Harvey thumped into Texas. The situation worsened when the hurricane turned into a tropical storm, lingering for days and haunting the residents of Houston. The reservoirs behind Addix and Barker dams remain dry almost throughout the year. However, during Harvey, they reached an unprecedented level that punitively crept into thousands of homes that were constructed in the suburbs. The hurricane wrecked nearly 100,000 homes, out of which 15,000 were totally submerged, hitting the death toll to a devastating 70. After the fear of Harvey looming ominously shed after a few days, it was decided that the flood water would slowly be released into Buffalo Bayou over the next few months. Even though the dams survived the devastating brutality shown by Harvey, authorities reckoned that the dams were not practically designed to hold water for such a long time. Moreover, they're also not guaranteed to safely impede such a massive volume. Almost a year later, 
Construction crews in Houston started amending the structure for both the dams in the quest to make the city's main reservoirs stronger. It's crucial to realize here that if these dams were to burst, the consequences would have been devastating. So much so that almost the entirety of Houston's west side would have been wiped out. The Three Gorges Dam was built during the period of 1994 to 2006. The total cost of construction was approximated to be around $31 billion, while displacing around 1.4 million people. The dam was constructed with an aim to lessen the risk of devastating flooding. It's regarded as the world's largest power station, generating 22,500 megawatts since 2012. Being a hydroelectric gravity dam, the Three Gorges Dam spans from the Yangtze River, covering the town of Sandu Ping, central China, and Yichang. On average, the dam generates approximately 95 trillion watt-hours of electricity per year. This varies as per the annual precipitation in the river basin. During the year 2020, the annual production reached a whopping 112 trillion watt-hours after the extensive monsoon rainfalls. This emerged to be an alarming situation, and it was realized that the dam may fail due to heavy flooding, killing millions of people if it does. Statistics reveal that approximately 400 million people live in the suburbs of the Three Gorges. Should the dam fail, it would arguably be one of the biggest non-pandemic disasters in history. Not only that, but it would also be accompanied by second-order effects. It's essential to understand here that the failure of the dam may not be as consequential as it may appear. However, the geopolitical consequences are absolutely shocking to contemplate. The Mula Periyar Dam is constructed on the Periyar River and is present in the Indian state of Kerala. It's a masonry gravity dam and is located approximately 881 meters above sea level on the Cardamon Hills of the Western Ghats. Constructed between 1887 and 1895, the Mula Periyar Dam is 53.6 meters in height and 365.7 meters in length. The early signs of the potential failure of the dam were noticed on 21st of November 2014, when the water level hit a massive 142 feet for the first time during the past 35 years. A similar situation occurred on 15th of August 2018, when the water level peaked at 142 feet due to the incessant rains in the state of Kerala, forcing the authorities to evaluate the potential threat. The fact that the Mula Periyar Dam was constructed during the late 1880s means there are a myriad of factors that increases the risk of its failure. This includes severe climate change that has led to erratic, high precipitation monsoon rains, increased landslides due to deforestation, and two recent earthquakes, leading to more developing cracks. Moreover, the fact that it was constructed on a seismically active zone using outdated construction techniques cannot be neglected while evaluating the odds. Another problem with the Mula Periyar is that there is no alternative site available to construct a new dam. The only option is to construct a wider downstream, which would be done at a fairly higher cost. This means that the disruption of the water supply is undeniable, irrespective of whether the dam is demolished and reconstructed. The Fort Peck Dam is one of the highest dams constructed along the Missouri River. Out of the six dams constructed on this river, the Fort Peck Dam is located in northeast Montana, adjacent to the Fort Peck community. It's 21,026 feet in length and approximately over 250 feet in height. It's regarded as one of the largest hydraulically filled dams in the US and serves the purpose of hydroelectric power generation, water storage and management, and flood control. The Fort Peck Dam generates 185.25 megawatts of electricity, which is divided among five generating units. It was during a scheduled inspection on 22nd of September 1938 that shook everyone to the core. The engineer who was in charge of the dam's construction revealed that the pipeline elevation that was relative to the core was found out to be only 2.5 feet when it should have been 4.5. This caused havoc, and a survey crew was immediately dispatched to further examine the situation. 
The initial tests revealed that the pipeline was settling closer to the pool from Station 15 to Station 17. As the rate of settlement slowly increased, cracks started to appear 30 feet below the crest in the upstream embankment. As the settlement increased in the area, the shell began to move back towards the core pool area, while the upstream shell began to move towards the reservoir. The next 10 minutes were catastrophic, as over 5 million cubic yards of material came loose from the dam, destroying approximately 5% of the structure. The calamity caused eight innocent deaths, while 26 people successfully rode out of the slide. Even though the dam was later completed during the year 1940, the experts reveal that since the dam was constructed out of the hydraulic fill method, it's more likely to collapse suddenly and catastrophically. A sudden failure of the Fort Peck Dam could potentially lead to a domino-like failure of all five downstream dams constructed on the Missouri River. The present era is of modern technology and scientific advancements. Constant development and innovation in every walk of life have led us to perfecting things one step at a time. Regardless of improved engineering knowledge for increasing safety standards for dam construction, achieving a non-risk guarantee is simply not possible. This consequently may result in hazards that can lead to dam failures. Which other dams do you think are on the verge of destruction? Do you think we missed out on an obvious one that should have made it into the list? Comment down below and let us know what you think. To see another video like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.